blast on your whole city, man. Oh, hey. I walk through like a bitty man. Light skin, nice cut, it's a bitty man. I was drafted by the Carolina Panthers in 2010, sixth round. My rookie year, man, it was hard. Well, because you know it comes from it, it comes from being a game all the way up to actually being a business. I learned a lot. Started off with John Fox as my coach and moved on to you know Rivera. Ended up learning a whole lot of technique and a whole lot of good stuff about football. Oh man, it was fun. I got to fly around for a little bit. You know, we visited with a couple of teams. Ended up standing in Dallas. It was all new. You know, I just had a kid. Been off the field for two years, so you know, just kind of readjusting the football, kind of dealing with the the people and the fans of you know one of the biggest markets in the league. Be around Tyron Smith, Tony Romo, legendary, you know, Pro Bowl, All Pro guys, and I think that was just my favorite part: being in the locker room and being getting to be around some monsters. Had a one-year contract and then got released. Not released, but you know, kind of cut, uh, cut. I think is what they call it. Yeah, you, know, you do a lot of growing up. Where, you know, you get to come in. 20 years old, being a young guy, you get a lot of things given to you, handed to you, and it's just, people have to allow you to do things. They have to offer you the knowledge and want to help you. And that's honestly the only way that I got to a pro bowl, uh, where I got to setting records. I feel like I'm gonna keep continue to do the work. You know, I'm the person that I am and I've always been, so I'm gonna con continue to put in the work to be a better person and to work towards deserving the opportunity. And I want them to see that that guy and that person instead of the problems and the BS and the tomfoolery that basically jammed me up for the last two or three years. I heard about the Spring League through um, a friend in Florida. I was training at American Top Team down there with a bunch of guys sparring, getting it in, and he came through one day and was like, man, I don't know if you heard about it. Spring League's coming up. They got Johnny Manziel. They got a lot of different guys. Kellen Winslow Jr. and I was like, man, all right, sounds like a, a good deal, a good time, an opportunity to get back on the field, you know, touch the green. I think I, I think I just jumped on it there after that, you know, I called my agent, I was like, we gotta get this done, man, like what do I need to do? Showed up, man, and it's been it's been a wonderful process ever since. You know, I got, I got here, everything just came together, man. Ended up working with a lot of good guys. The practices came together, man, the coaches were wonderful. It turned it turned into, you know, something that I hopefully can build upon and I'm appreciative that I could even come out here and play on the field, you know, because opportunities are hard to come by. It's a, it's a lonely feeling to have it and then blow it, basically. You know, shoot yourself in the foot and yeah, I'm just ready to go, man.